Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Rootset. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can upload a code over the air to your Wi-Fi enabled Arduino board without using any USB cable. If you are a beginner and you're totally interested in building your own robots and electronic projects, then this channel is for you. My name is Jidin and I'm super excited to teach you everything you need to know about what you need to know. So, let's upload our first sketch over the air. For that, the first thing you have to do is, you have to create an account in Arduino IoT Cloud and sign into it. Once you have signed in, you should be able to see all the things created by you. As you can see here, I have created three things before. A thing is like a project. For this video, I will be creating a new thing. To do that, click on create thing and let's give it a name. Let's name it OTA Demo. Next thing you have to do is, you have to link a board to this project. To do that, click on select device. We will be adding Arduino Nano 33 IoT which is not in this list. To add that board, click on set up new device. Set up an Arduino device. And at this point, you have to make sure that your Arduino Nano 33 IoT is connected to your PC and Arduino Create Agent is running in your PC. As you can see here, Arduino Nano 33 IoT has been detected by Arduino Create Agent. Now to configure that, click on configure. Now let's give it a name. Let's name it Nano 33 IoT. Click on next. Here a code will be uploaded to your board and will be configured for you. It will take up to 5 minutes but it took only one minute for me. Okay, Arduino Nano 33 IoT has been added to our device list. Now click on done and go to devices. And you should see Nano 33 IoT ready to connect. Now go back to things and click on OTA demo. And here, if you want, you can add variables. To add variables, click on add variable and give your variable a name let's name it light set variable type let's select boolean uh, modify from dashboard and api click on add variable and you should see your variable here now to set up wi-fi you have to click configure under network here you have to provide your Wi-Fi name and password. Now click on save. And you can straight away go to sketch. The best thing about Arduino IoT Cloud is, they will generate a sample sketch which contain all the critical variables and functions which is needed to run the code. Now all you have to do is add the extra variables and the functions. So this is the skeleton code. And if you look here, you can see that Arduino Nano 33 IoT is connected to port COM6 of our PC. So guys, here is the blink sketch. According to this code, the built-in LED will turn on for 1 second and turn off for 1 second and will repeat the code. That means it will blink once every second. Now click on upload. As you can see here, we are uploading the code to the board via port COM6. That means we are uploading the code through USB cable. Code upload has been started. And... Yes, it's finished. Now, if you take a look at the board, you can see that the LED is blinking once every second. Now, we will slightly modify the code. Let's change delay. Let's change it to 500. And 200. Now, if you take a look at here, you can see that one more option is available to upload the code to your board. That is over there option. Now simply click on over there and click on upload. Code upload has been started. 
but it will take a little bit more time than wired upload. As you can see, the code has been uploaded and the blinking frequency has changed. That's how you upload the code over the air to your Arduino board. Once this option is available, you no longer have to connect your board to your PC using USB cable. You can upload the code wirelessly.